I think I'm just so involved in mountain biking, just as I love it. I love being there. I'm a huge fan. If I'm not at an event to ride, I'm there to watch. So big. Kyle Jamison, 28 years old, size 11 shoe, and I'm from Davis, California. I live in Bend, Oregon now. I'm such a fan. I like go and stand in line and, you know, have my friends sign posters for me, and they're like, dude, what are you doing in line with all these, you know, 12 year old kids? And I'm just towering over them, like, just as giddy, like, oh, yeah. My turn, my turn. You know, and then they write stupid shit on them. Without her, I wouldn't be here, for sure. For me, my mom's like, well, this is cool. If you can't do it forever, know this now. Find something in mountain biking that has longevity, which a lot of people, they don't get that support from their parents. The parents are like, dude, stop riding the, the bike, go to college. When I was a, a little Kyle, she was just working crazy hours at uh, Campbell Soup. She sent me to summer gravity camps. I actually met Kyle Norbratton. He was the first Canadian I ever met. I remember seeing Richie Chalet for the first time at that age. I was so pumped, man. I'll never forget that. And I saw Garrett Dyer too and being like, whoa. Like, this is Whistler. This is biking. You know, I gotta do this. He called up Norbs again, and I was like, yo, Norbs, like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm building cell phone towers or something. And I was like, dude, let's, let's go to mountain bike school on the Sunshine Coast. Sat next to Curtis randomly, and I'm like, yo, dude, like, what's up? He's like, I'm a local. I'm like, cool, you wanna show us around? And he introduced us to Dylan. A year and a half later, we established the Coastal Crew. So that's where everything kind of just was like, whoa, I can build trails, coach mountain biking, and that's almost year-round work, as well as juggle this athlete side of things. It's definitely like my biggest passion, and also it's my job. The money I receive from my sponsors is really just keeping the athlete alive. My building and coaching keeps my life at home afloat. I kind of was in a weird place again on my bike where I'm not trying to like race enduro and I'm not going to be a slope style guy. Dirt jumping is kind of fading. You know, where is my place in mountain biking? And then I got invited to Aggie's reunion and it was like, this is super fun. And I'm riding dirt jumps on a downhill bike going really fast. And it kind of rekindled the flame again. I don't even know where I would be on my bike or in my life without the Fest series. My good friend Carson Storch had mentioned to me that he had access to this amazing property and he really wanted to do a fest. I, I texted my good friend Ken McCall who just moved to Bend a couple years ago and he was just drinking the Kool-Aid. He had Bend Kool-Aid in his water bottle and he's like psh, squirting it in my mouth like dude. So I called up you know, my lady and I'm like yo, like, look for jobs in Bend. We're gonna do it. Oh yeah it is. Woo. Yeah, it's doing it. Okay. All right. Let's do it.
If you're having a good time, you're shining, you know? Doesn't matter what you're doing. You could be the best typer in the world, but if you're having a good time doing it, everyone around you is gonna know that you're loving typing and you're good at it and you're gonna be there for a while doing it. So I guess that's where it is. It's like, I love riding the bikes. I've made sure that I'm there and I'm present and I'm trying to do it. And even if I'm not doing it the best, I'm still there trying and I'm still having a good time failing or succeeding. This is Jess. <laughs> Which way am I going? Right here. This is our family. We got the dogs. Mika. Come, here. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here. Oh, there goes Kaya. It's <laughs> our happy family in Oregon. My microphone fell off. Shit. Now it's all good. That's all. <laughs>